diseases don't occur by chance. My risk, your risk, anybody's risk of any dis given disease is not the same. So the question is, well, why are some people more likely to get heart disease than other people? Or some people more likely to become infected with AIDS than, than other people? That's, that's what I do. I study, uh, I study populations and patterns of diseases within populations. Public health is very challenging, but at the same time it can be very rewarding. The changes that we have made as a society, for example, a limiting access to tobacco to young people or making it harder for people to smoke in the workplace have changed the way we view tobacco use and have resulted in many fewer people smoking than used to smoke. Those types of difficult long-term changes have led to many, many people living longer lives and, and living ha healthier lives. And if you are working with just individuals, you, you may be able to make a change in that person's life. You may not. But if you're working at the community level, you have a greater opportunity to help a lot more people. So that's what I love about public health. Be worlds ahead.